What is going on guys? It's Sultan HD. I am back again, but this time I'm gonna make my robot on the robot workshop. I pretty much want to make my own robot and pretty much make it into a beast. So I'm not really gonna show what I have to do, so I'm gonna mess around on Codsworth right now and see, just twerk him, see what things I can add and pretty much see what th other things I can pretty much do to him. But I could change his leg. <laughs> Look at the size difference compared to that and that. Oh, God. That looks like a tank. I'm definitely going to use that. Because I blimmin' hate century bots anyway. So, let's go make on. Let's go make my own one. Okay. Oh, go away, Codsworth. Right, special mod. MSA. Oh. Probably will install it later, but I don't really need it right now. Um, heads. Definitely the head laser guy. I cannot stand the head laser. They do ridiculous damage to you. They just run up and nowhere and just blast you, you know? So you can add like helmets, I guess. So, okay. You guess there's quite a lot you could do to it, right? For the legs. Um, definitely gonna go on Sentry Bot. One of them legs, definitely. Look at it. He's gonna be a complete beast. I'm gonna make him so he can literally do anything and no one can kill him. I'm gonna make him as strong as I can. So, I need to add some good armor, but I'm not sure if I should do it yet or towards the end, depending on the equipment I need or the junk. I don't know if I have enough junk at the end or not. I mean, I could add this, but I'm not sure. Um, let's go into the legs. Just, oh, so much different legs armor you can get, you get Tesla armor, I guess loads do different things, I want to make it so it can carry a lot, I mean a lot of weight, because I, I get sick because I go out exploring for a couple of days straight, and then i got to keep dropping stuff because my companion's full and I'm full, if I make this have a lot of weight, carry weight, I'll be fine, I could just keep throwing stuff into him, and he should be completely fine. I don't get what this body bits are. Look at him there. Looks like a mushroom. Um, bloody hell. Now that's what you call a beast. Um, not sure what to have. I'll just keep it that. I obviously need some good body armor for his chest as it will be a weak spot, but. I've seen loads of different pictures of that people's robots. They all have like rocket launcher, nuke, mini nukes eye, and all different types of equipment they use. I don't know how to get to that. Yes, it might be underneath arms, but I'm not entirely sure. So let's quickly make finish off making this beast. So let's add that. Um, not sure what to do. Okay. I'm literally going to make it amazing. This is probably just a rough one, but I'll probably do another video again soon. Once I get all the junk again. Guessing this will probably wipe me out on my junk, but... I probably want... Something a little easier to run with. He's probably really slow, because sentry bots are quite slow, so... I'm not sure. Let's find out. So... Oh... So you can add missile launcher, all different types. Definitely want a mini nuke though. Need a bit of science, I guess. Probably if I level up, I'll probably level up science. So my new bolt, which I'll make after him, will be, will have a mini nuke and everything on him. And then people would be scared of him. So, all right, Tesla. <laughs> I wish there is some Tesla armor in the game. There must be. Because I'm pretty sure I found some while doing this DLC. This DLC is amazing. Just that my only issue with the di this DLC is it's a bit too short. Compared to the Moonship, the Broken Steel and all of these different DLCs that previous came out on different fallouts. They seem... And this one seems a bit too short. But... I'm not sure, I guess this add-on was mainly about 
customizing robot. I mean, look at him. I have a play minigun, a Gatling gun, and all this. I'll probably have a minigun and a flamethrower, I say. I'm pretty sure you can get a flamethrower. I saw someone with it. Uh, but anyway, I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure that this DLC is mainly just because your customization of this robot, but I do like this feature. Just the only problem is about your junk. I don't have enough junk because if you notice, my little town is quite small. Since I found out about this DLC, I kept every single bit of my junk as possible and do not waste any of it. I got I went out exploring for about literally after I came back from work until night time. Literally, I just kept finding junk, sending it back. So I do have quite a big selection of junk, just not enough steel and everything you need for this guy. So that's my minigun. He obviously needs some armor on him. I found out that in the robot loading screens, they have now robots loading screens pretty much. This guy with massive spikes and that, you can actually make him. I thought it was some boss, but. I was, when I was scrolling through just then, I found some spikes and everything. Oh, that's quite cool. A little drill. Right. Let's add my flamethrower on. I mean, a minigun to shoot them, and then flamethrower to fucking burn them. The only issue is if they're far away. If they're close range, I'll do, he'll do a ridiculous amount of damage, I bet. Go away, Adam. Adder? Adder? Not entirely sure what the robot's called. Um, I do like this feature a lot. I think this is the main bit of the DLC. Alright. God. So much different parts you can add onto your robot. Oof. Right. Let's give him a nice blue. Oh, I want blue. Oh, yeah, dark blue. Dark blue, definitely. Don't know if I should make him black, so in the shadows he's lethal, but I don't know. I'm going to keep him blue, because blue is my favourite colour, and the colour is just amazing and sexy. Come on. So, right. That robot's just in the way. I can't even see, right. He's got massive legs. Oof. So... I'll just add these legs for the time being because I'm not sure if I have enough, like, the right materials for this. So I'm just going to throw these legs on for the time being, I presume. So later on, I probably will give them a little twerk and everything, give them more, be like, better equipment. Just time being, I um, don't have enough junk for these people, I guess. I would love to make another one, but I don't really have enough junk. Junk is hard to get for me. Just like money. Caps, I've got no caps. After the DLC, I had, I ran out of complete all of my ammo. So I had to go out and buy, buy some more of ammo and pretty much it left me about 600 caps left. Right, that's my roll. It didn't really take long. It took me about eight minutes, I presume, but it isn't too long, right? Let's see what this guy can actually do, right? I don't know if you could change the name or anything, but, right, hello? Ah, uh, the voice is just not right. Um, personally, personality? So you can make him like completely utter bitch, I'm presuming. Uh, I don't really like the helmet, to be honest, because that was up. Uh, little skull. Uh, I might change it, to be honest. Mm. Yeah, go on. That's better. Uh, first of all, I need to take shit out of her and then send her back to where she is now, stationary hills, wherever. So, yeah. Come on, follow me. Uh, so, then add her to. Where is it? Where is it? Uh, there we go. Mm -hmm. Yep. Alright. They've just you could do so much different things to him, right? Nope. There we go. 
Uh, let's try and if I could change his name, whatever. It's completely pissing it down outside. Right. Um, don't know what I need to add to him. Um, probably change his helmet, I presume, or I need to change his name. Really, don't really just want it just to be Automaton, whatever he is called. Uh, need to think of a good name for him, I guess. But uh, tank. Tank is the good name for him. I mean, look at the build. He's got Tesla inside him, so he's all flashy and, you know. He's got a minigun, flamethrower. He is a complete tank. All right. It's good that he changed his voice and everything. All right, let's talk to him now. Oh, a lot better. A hell of a lot. Oh, fuck off. Oh, yeah, here to help. Oh, now piss off, mate. No problem. So it'll be good, not sure. Ah, uh, go away. You can fucking deal with them. Right. Uh, look at him. Oh, here's my fucking baby. All right, let's sort of tank out. No, nope. don't know. You can instead of running all over to your bloody crafting table, you can just throw junk in there. I guess it's easier for me, right? Let's change his, change his helmet. Do like the spike one. I'll probably make another one. Uh, that goes better with him. To be honest, yeah. I do like the spike helmet, but it probably would go better with a smaller robot. And I'll just make him covered in claws and a flame, flame sword and all of that. Because that would go with him hell of a lot better. So let's put this on. Uh, change his mask. Ha! <laughs> you can have happy and sad face. Oh my god, a kitty cat face. I am definitely having a kitty cat face! <laughs> yeah, fuck it. <laughs> Imagine that, coming to kill you, just a fucking cat. <laughs> oh, that is fucking legendary. Oh my god. I can't take him seriously, look at him. He's a fucking cat. Alright, come on you. Come on. Uh, it's not too slow, I guess. But it does... It does dig up quite a lot of bloody mud. Uh, do I have any shit to throw in? No. Alright. Let's see if he is quick at running and if he can get in small places. Ah, uh, he's quite quick to be honest with you. Right, uh, let's jump into my armor quickly. I need to upgrade the other armor that I found during this DLC, just the only problem is I don't have enough junk after building this guy. Look at him. He is quick, just a bit too big, I think. So, let's see if it actually fits in here. I mean, oh, well, he's stuck already, so he definitely probably won't fit in there, will he? Hello, come on, come on, boy. Will he go in there? Oh. Where the fuck did he go? Hello? Oh. Oh, there he is. Yeah, he's way too big. He'd be good during, like, big open areas, I guess, but nothing too small. Right, let's give him a little test and defeat some robots to see how well he does find his own kind, yeah? Don't know if he'd be good at it, or... I don't know. His health is high, but not too high. But his carrying weight, which I care about the most, is amazing. 600. I can literally double my inventory with my power armor on. So, I won't really need to go back home to throw shit in the chest for ages. I'll literally just go to a new location, to a new location, to a new location, without no issue. Just the only problem is, if he gets into a tight area, he might die. Well, I might die and I won't be able to get him to spawn in because he's a bit too big. So hopefully, you know, be able to do it. Oh, shit. Oh, boy, no. Come on, mate, you can do it. Come on. 
Look at that red glow. I really do like that red glow. Makes him look evil and just... I just love it on him. Ugh. He's not really using his flame though. Does he need ammo? What? I'm trying to give you ammo. Does he need ammo for the fucking flame though? Or what? My oh, fuck. Cool. Uh, just steal your shit. Come on. Do you need ammo? No. Nah. Nah. Oh, actually, nah. There we go. There's the flame. Do I even have enough? Yeah, but come on. You're using it already. Oh, that's still your shit. Well, to be honest, this guy is destroying them with his bloody minigun and his flamer. Look at him. He's literally just destroying them. So, where's the bot that I was meant to kill? Oh, Hunter's legendary. Okay, just steal your shit. Um, Lost Devil. I have no idea where the rock was that him? I didn't even touch him. My robot just destroyed him. Fucking hell. Oh my god, that red glow. Damn. That is what you call amazing. Right. As I finish that one, let's go on to and help my settlement because I am so kind, I help them out. Well, I'm trying to do a video, it's like, oh, can you go and save this person from bloody ghouls that just all the way over there? Really? You make me want to travel all the way over there because ghouls are walking all the way to stationary hills just to attack you guys. Come on. Alright. Once this loads, I'll start running all the way to where I have to go. And we're back. Alright, sorry, quick. Sorry, guys, I had to quickly go somewhere. Just. I edit that bit out. Um, right, let's run all the way towards this direction. Kind of, should I need a better gun, I guess. Uh, with a lot of ammo, I don't really care wasting. Right. Plus, my pistol is good. Even though the pistol I got, re what? What the fuck was that? Right, at least it's next to me. But yeah. Oh, shit. A bit pixelated. Oh, fucking hell. Guess that's one way to test my bot's challenge. If my bot can kill him and survive. He is a complete utter beast. So let's try it. I'm, all, all I'm trying to do is beat some bloody ghouls, but nah, managed to bump into a bloody feather moth, way it's called. Jesus Christ. To be honest, it isn't doing too much damage. I need to twerk his damage a bit. But me and him together, we could just fucking destroy him. Is he, is he dead or? I don't know. Um, fuck off, mate. Gee. I'm only level 42, 43, I'm not sure. Uh, come on. Wakey, wakey, buddy. His health can... He can deal with some beating. I do say that myself, but... Let's just give him that little extra boost to wake up. He can, he can deal with a being so badly, but I think he is a good robot. I just need to improve my, you know, the damage on him. Because the armor himself is amazing, but the damage isn't so good. That's my only issue, but I guess that's one way to test him. Well, it's going to take him to the bandits, but I honestly can't be bothered. Not really, because there's not much point after he, me and him took out a Bethamoth. What's the point of taking out some ghouls? This guy can destroy the ghouls, so. I can't, is there much point of doing this? I don't really want to do it, but I'll do it after the video, right? Let me just quickly unlock this. Uh, I hate these terminals. Oh, there. okay. Don't straight away. Uh, accessing door. Done. Done. Uh, I can't be bothered to do it really, but. but oh well. I destroy Bethamoth with my beast of a tank robot. There is that beautiful red glow coming out of his face with a cat. But anyway, guys, that was it for this video. 
I hope you enjoyed it. This video is pretty much just about how to build a robot and how well I made my first ever robot. This is Tank with the Kitty Cat. I hope you really much. I hope you enjoy this video, guys. If you do not know, I have a Twitter. It is at SolventHD. Go and follow me. I have literally just made it. Or oh, well, I've done Fallout 3, Automatron, Episode 3. That's when I start. Well, I just made it. But anyway, I'm out of here, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Until next time, I am out of here.